Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical here with another video. This one's really important, so I want you guys to listen up. Um, you look before you and you see uh, it, what looks like just a pile of garbage, right? Uh, no, this is life-saving equipment, and it's very important, and that's what I want to talk to you guys today about. Um, a lot of you guys that watch the channel, you're into the whole EDC thing. You guys probably carry guns, knives, tools, you know, whatever, to get through your daily tasks to protect yourself and the, the ones you love. Um, what are you going to do if you can't stop the threat or, you know, if something else happens, a car crash, you know, you get injured hiking or climbing or whatever it may be, you know, or, or you do get into a gunfight, maybe you do stop the threat, but you wouldn't get into a fist fight expecting not to get hit. Why would you expect to get in a gunfight and, you know, not get shot? So something as simple as a tourniquet, a plastic bag and a sharpie with some duct tape could save your life or the life of your loved ones or innocent civilians just you know saying an active shooter situation it is extremely important to carry medical supplies on you at all times this is something super minimal this is what goes in my back left pocket um, or if I'm wearing cargo pants or tactical pants throw it in the cargo pocket uh, it's, it's very small it, it's no bigger than my palm extremely lightweight and it's got the bare necessities, bare necessities, but no guys, for real, this is a serious thing, it's got everything I need to stop major bleeding, um, it's got the rat's tourniquet, all right, in a bright color, so, you know, the EMTs, when they get there, they can see it, while, you know, where it's, where it is on me, and, and notice that I have it on me, uh, it's wrapped up in this plastic bag, the plastic bag can be used as a chest seal, uh, for a sucking chest wound, and then to cover everything up, we got some duct tape wrapped around the Sharpie. It's baking duct tape. It doesn't care what the graphic is or if it's just plain old silver. I got a decent amount of it, enough to bandage some stuff up, to, to use the plastic bag as a chest seal, whatever other, you know, whatever else, you know, wounds I might have, I could use that as a makeshift bandage with cloth from a t-shirt or other clothes, you know, stuff like that, the Sharpie. If I'm applying the tourniquet to someone else, I can write T on their forehead in the time that it was applied. So when emergency personnel responds to the scene, they can easily identify that this person has a tourniquet on, see what time it was applied and how much time they have left before they need to take it off or, you know, pursue further measures. And this is just something I carry every day with me. You can see it's beat up, you know, it's worn. I could probably use a new plastic bag. Um... But I got it all taped together in a small little package, and it's everything I need, you know, for the most part, for, for major arterial bleeding, uh, stuff like that, as well as, you know, you could use the duct tape. If you cut your finger real bad, you could wrap it up with that, um, you know, stuff like that, and, and you, you have a writing utensil on you. But it's just very useful to have something like this, and carrying medical, if you carry a gun, you should carry medical supplies. For sure. Even if you don't carry a gun, you should carry medical supplies. And I know some people, you know, oh, it's too cumbersome. I don't want to have that, you know, have to worry about that in my pockets or, you know, whatever it may be. If you carry a bag, a backpack, a sling pack, a messenger bag, a laptop bag, you could stuff that thing full of medical supplies, as well as all your other gear that you need, knives, guns, multi-tools, this, that, and the other. But something like this is very important to have. I keep a very extensive medical kit in all of my EDC bags and all my bug out bags in my car at the house. But if it's just me and I don't have an EDC bag with me, which I usually do carry it every single day, which has another Turner kit and even more extensive medical supplies, um, I definitely have this in my pocket no matter what. No matter what I'm wearing, you know, I don't dress down, you know, I'm not just leaving the house in basketball shorts or sweatpants because I usually have a gun on me and a bunch of knives, and medical supplies, and all that stuff, so, you know, you, you got to be prepared, if you're going to commit to carrying a gun, you know, be prepared to, you know, be able to fix some stuff that guns can cause, you know, it might even be your dumbass that, that shoots yourself, you know, on accident, at the range, this is real important, you know, whenever you're dealing with something that's dangerous, I mean, you know, it's not even guns, guys, driving down the street, you get into a car wreck, you know, your arm gets cut off or, you know, you got really bad bleeding from, from glass shrapnel and stuff like that. 
this will stop that. You know, if you get hit in the femoral artery, if you don't have a tourniquet ready to go, you could bleed out and die within minutes. You know, it's, it's very serious stuff, and, and you need to carry some medical supplies. You guys really do. If you don't already, you definitely need to start. At least think about it. There's a lot of pre-made kits you can get, some small kits, pocket kits that include a tourniquet. Uh, that would be the minimal... The most minimal I would carry is just a tourniquet by itself. Other things can be improvised. It's kind of hard to improvise a plastic bag. Um, but, you know, the, the minimal I would carry is just a standalone tourniquet and know how to use it. That's the other thing. Uh, there's a lot of helpful videos on YouTube that will show you how to use these things, you know, and uh, the ins and outs about them, how long you should leave it on, this, that, and the other thing. But you got to train with it, you got to practice. Because, you know, fingers turn to flippers under adrenaline, and it's going to be a lot harder to deal with and put this on, especially if you're hurt um, or, or there's something crazy going on, you're in shock, whatever it may be. So you need, to, you need to practice. And I would not use my game time one to practice. If you're buying it, buy two. One to train with, one to use for game time. So you keep it nice and stock and ready, you know, the elasticity is good, everything's good on it, ready to go, never been used. And then you use the other one that you purchased for training purposes. Um, obviously, get two of the same so the platforms transfer across equally. So you're not learning one thing and then doing something else with another. But I really wanted to make this video to encourage you guys to carry some medical supplies. I mean, if you are not going to have it on your person, at least have it in an EDC bag, in your purse, in the car, something that you can get to relatively easily. You know, and I, I highly suggest you carry it on your person, but if you're just absolutely not going to do it, have it in the house, have it in the car, have it in your bag, and, and, you know, have it with you when you need it. And that's the thing, you never know when you might need something like this, so you should have it all the time. You'd be surprised how many gun guys that are so operator and they train and this, that, and the other thing, big gunfighters, and they don't carry medical supplies. You know, I mean, you could get hit with a, a lucky bullet just as bad as, as, as a trained, fired, precise shot. And it's going to hurt you just as bad. And if you're not ready to deal with that, if you're not trained to deal with that, if you don't have the supplies to deal with that, uh, most likely you're dead. You know, cops and emergency services are minutes away when seconds matter, and you are the first responder. So you carry your defensive stuff, carry your tools, and carry your medical it's extremely important, guys. I hope you guys take this seriously. Uh, let me know if you like the video, if you want to see more stuff like this. If you guys do carry medical, leave below in the comments what you carry. And uh, that's it. That's it. Just a real short video. I'm very passionate about this. Um, carrying medical supplies has helped me out a lot in the, in the past. And take it seriously, guys. It's really important.